Hello, uh, on today's blog I'm going to show you how to model a flexible spring uh, without the need of making that spring adjustable or adjustable part. Uh, if you are making this in the context of the assembly without the need to make that sub-assembly as an adjustable, without adding, uh, adding any uh, variables uh, and formulas to that part so that when it flexes uh, it, it, in the context of the assembly, uh, it will update that part. So, uh, let me quick show you uh, how what what I'm talking about here. So, if I were to go ahead and um, you know have the spring here the way it traditionally would be modeled, right? It would actually flex uh, on the direction of this blue dotted line right here, right? As this the arm or suspension moves. Uh, but it's not the case because it doesn't. It, it actually f uh, pivots on this uh, bolt right here, which means that's actually going to swing on this dotted arc here, or this uh, dotted red arc. So uh, again, that's the, what I'm talking about, right? I want to model something up where actually once this moves or the suspension moves, uh, it will actually model or adjust accordingly, to in the, like in the real world. Uh, and that would be uh, around this uh, red dotted line right here. Okay, so what what exactly what I'm talking about here? So let me just kind of show you. Um, if I were to grab this spring here or this uh, suspension, and I'm going to go ahead and just simply drag it out here, you can see that it pivots around those bolts here, these bolts as I stated earlier. And obviously, we want this red spring to adjust or flex accordingly uh, in the context of the assembly and again without making that an adjustable assembly without making an adjustable part okay so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you that how how you go about doing that um, I'm gonna go ahead and go to my other configuration here so um, what I like to do is actually model it up right in here uh, so the first thing I like to do is actually create part in the context of the assembly by graphic input and I'm gonna select some of the components here let's use that one right there if I wish I could go ahead and edit the type of material and accept that and just give it a part I'm gonna call that DF um, uh, spring and that's fine go ahead and save that Okay, uh, so the next step would be is to create inner part copy, and this inner part copy is going to allow me to basically uh, do the adjustment for me. So if I select that top and use my quick pick to kind of select my other, other part of the geometry there, and, and I'm going to do exactly the same thing with the um, with the bottom of that. Uh, here we go. Let's select that part here. And I'll go ahead and select the use my quick pick and do exactly the same thing here. Okay, um, I'm gonna go ahead and hide my geometry for a second uh, because what I'd like to do is simply go ahead and extend this uh, surface just a bit because um, I know that earlier when I was modeling this thing up, I just need to get to that point. Uh, so my spring adjusts. Uh, on the, on the area that I want to. All right, so I'm gonna do exactly the same thing here. And that's gonna be two millimeters. Okay, so I got that. I'm also going to um, add a dot or a point. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and simply use a parallel. And I'm gonna put that right here. And you'll see that in a minute, uh, once I, I'm done with this, the reason why I did that. Um, there we go. And I'm going to go ahead and make that point there. There. Okay. And I'll do exactly the same thing to my other part here. And I'll make that parallel from here. There. And I'll go ahead and uh, put it right here. I know the other ones that I right about there so I'm gonna put it right here 
and expand rate. Okay. Okay, so uh, the next thing I would like to do is uh, just kind of turn on my part so I can kind of get, get our orientation here. Okay, um, the next thing I like to do is um, use the um, helical command. And, and the reason I did that earlier, let me just show you real quick here. Uh, if I select the, the geometry from the inner part copy, if I click on that, obviously it gets me the center point, right? But if I click here, look what it does. It just does this, uh, which is not the results that I'm looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and simply cancel that and uh, go ahead and delete this. So I'll go ahead and do it again, but this time I'm going to select my point, and you can see these are the results that I'm looking for. And I'm going to go ahead and select the uh, other one right here, here, and turn on my geometry here, so kind of get an idea of where I'm at, and I'm going to place it right about there. And as soon as I do that, uh, I want to be right about there. Um, you have a couple options on your uh, helical curve param parameters. You got the type, compound, variable pitch, um, and variable pitch, and uh, pitch, con constant pitch. And on the method, you got uh, length and turns, length and pitch, and pitch and turns. Well, I'm looking for the length because I want these dots that I created to adjust, and obviously, I still want to maintain the number of turns. And uh, I, I could go in here and, and enter, you know, all my values, go insert and so forth. But for dumber purposes, I already put that in there. You can see that automatically adjusted up there. And uh, you can see that that's exactly what I'm looking for. Uh, one other thing, I also want to create another uh, sketch here. And I'm going to make that normal to curve because I want to go right on the edge here and make the zero and make this a uh, let's see here let's put a value there 354 okay and this and the last thing I want to do is simply go in here and create my sweep here and then select the there it is. All right. If I turn on my geometry, if I go back into the my assembly here, there we go. All right. So let's put this to the test here, right? So this is basically what I wanted. Uh, this is what I'm talking about here. Uh, I wanted to create this adjustable spring or this flexible spring. So as this uh, subassembly uh, moves or pivots uh, from these points here or these bolts here, as the suspension you know goes uh, some maybe uh, some uh, street that's rough. Uh, let's check it out. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and uh, I hit the Alt U. What that does is basically alt, uh, updates my uh, top level assembly, which you can see that it automatically adjusted there, right? And that's exactly what I'm looking for. If I put this on the side here, like I did earlier, and if I take a little further step from that, let's do this. Let's take it further out here. Okay. And you can see that as soon as I hit the Alt uh, U, again, that uh, updates my assembly here. And you can see that how quickly it uh, updates, uh, how it updates my uh, uh, spring here and adjusts accordingly. And uh, exactly what I'm looking for. Okay. All right. Um, that is one method. All right. The other method I want to show you is. If I quickly uh, delete this real quick here, uh, let's see here. Let me just actually let me just turn it off. I'm gonna create another one right here. I'm gonna uh, edit in place here, and in this one, I'm going to use the um, key point curve, and I believe I have the uh, ready the dots ready there for me. Just like I did earlier, I could go here, and the next one is going to be right about here. Okay, 
and if I do exactly the same thing, the only difference is with this method here is I'm going to use exactly the this uh, command, the sweep command. Um, and there's an option here to to do the, uh, the twist number of turns. It's not highlighted yet because I've not selected the 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 geometry here. So I'm going to go ahead and select the uh, path here, and then select the. Uh, and you see what it does? It kind of gives me this really weird. Uh, not exactly not what I'm looking for. So then at that point I go here and make that uh, oh, it's like the default uh, uh, settings there. And you can see that. That's exactly what I'm looking for. And look how it flex there, right? That's exactly what I'm looking for. So if I get back out of here and, and then adjust this again, uh, if I go back up here, drag component, and this time I'm gonna bring it right back in here. All right. And you can see that. Um, and there it goes. Okay, so again, uh, this uh, this method right here did not give me all the options as it did with the um, the one that I created earlier with this um, the helical uh, um, curve, like it you see there. So uh, you have both options there, but you, you just kind of pick and choose which best fits your uh, your needs there. All right, so that does it. Thank you.